Hello, this is Ira Whiteside. <clears throat> I'd like to demonstrate the concepts of lineage within the Microsoft Suite, particularly SSIS, and I'm going to do that using a new set of component, a new component from Actuality Business Intelligence, uh, which is set to provide you the ability to clean data and retain data lineage in your pipeline and through your process. So we've got a small package here. Well, let's create a data flow in that package just with the quick defaults. We're going to add in a data source. Uh, we've got a standard data set here with some sample customer data. We'll pick that up. There we go, one second. So we've got a sample customer table. And let's scroll down to find our customer table, PC customers. 1000. We'll take a quick look at that. And we've got first names and last names and addresses and phone numbers. And if we were to take a preview of that file, we would see that we have got uh, certainly phone numbers in multiple formats here, dashes, no dashes. And we've got some issues in our names where we've got some special characters. So having selected our input, Let's now select our data lineage component. We've got it over here. Uh, I've loaded it up separately. It is available from Actuality Business Intelligence, and you can contact uh, us at our website, actualitybusinessintelligence.com. Uh, what we're going to do here, though, is connect this guy up. We've installed it and dropped it in, and we're going to open up the component. The component is data driven, and we'll get to that in a second. First off, if you simply pick a field that you'd like to clean, like, uh, for instance, phone number, we're going to pick phone number, and we're going to choose to validate phone number. The next tab is global properties. This component is data-driven. So in this case, if we select the connection string, and actually we don't have the connection string that we need here, we have a little configuration table that uh, comes with the component that's available for you. We'll pick that from this local host configuration builder. And then the table that we're looking for, in this case, selecting that connection string configuration builder, the table that we're looking for is down here called validation group. And we'll take a look at that table in a minute. We're also going to choose here whether we want our validation rules. Our validation rules you're going to see are actually groups of regular expressions. Uh, and we can talk about that separately, but be it as it may, Regular expressions is uh, the preeminent tool to be able to clean, validate, select, and uh, format data within databases. So again, we can choose that the load, the, the validation table be static or dynamic. We're going to make it dynamic, and we'll show you why in a minute. We're then going to select our values. As you can see, our IDE for uh, our component is pretty straightforward. Available input columns are over here. You can see we've selected phone number as the first one and it shows up. Available operations are over here and we've got some predefined ones. For phone numbers, we want to see if the number is numbers only so we can drag and drop that down here. Sorry, I forgot to select the column. So we'll tell you that. We can drag and drop that down here. And then we also want to parse that phone number and put periods in it so that we've got a valid uh, format. Oops, sorry, as you can see here. There we go. And we can add these, we can delete these of our choice, uh, pretty much moving these any way that we'd like. So now we're going to put these in order. We're going to check if they're numbers and then we're going to parse them. We can validate that regex. And uh, what I want to do real quick here is I'm going to run it and show you the results and then we're going to see where we store these rules and how they're data driven. Uh, in order for us to just kind of do this quickly, we're just going to select a multicast component for SSIS, drag it over here, we'll connect up a data viewer so that we can see what's going on, adding that in there, and then real quickly we're going to run this guy and we're going to see what we're doing in terms of uh, not only cleansing the data but getting lineage. So now we get into our data viewer. Uh, you can see that what we've done is we've picked up the phone number here, the dirty phone number. We've cleaned it, and we have a value now of the phone number separated by periods, but we've got the word test in there in our rule. 
We also are going to tell you uh, which rules, if you remember, we picked phone number, phone parse, and format phone parse uh, as the rules that we were looking. We also selected numbers only and phone parse. Phone category is the category. These numbers only and phone parse are our particular rules. We've got an indicator to tell us whether or not we clean that number, and we know the column name. So the concept here is important in that utilizing SSAS in our componentry is that we're not simply giving you the clean value, which happens to be the number here with the word test in it. We're showing you the old value. We're telling you the rules we cleaned it. We're giving you a simple switch to tell you whether or not it's valid. And we're giving you the column name. And that's a kind of a full container of information, metadata container, if you will, regarding your uh, cleansing and transformation capabilities. Now. Let's look at uh, let's look at the metadata driven aspect of this. Given that we've developed this cleansing component and this I'm sorry this cleansing package and transformation, and uh, we have the need to maybe make a change to the rules. If we step into SQL Server Management Studio, here is our table. It is a validation group table in the configuration database. So if I show you that real quick. If we're to go in the config builder database, and you're free to change these names and look at the validation group table, here's our table with our categories and our names. And uh, we have an external process for you to maintain this table, but the, out of the box you'll be able to maintain it with just uh, the editor within SQL Management Studio. So we take a look at our rules here for phone format, for numbers only and phone parse particularly phone parse, standard regular expression rules, and I can certainly show you and give you some recommendations like regexlive.com for learning these. We send you a basic library of sample rules. But as you can see here, if I remove that word test from my rule, and I go back into our lineage package and I make no changes, I simply execute it then you're going to see that we were able to affect the dynamics of the package, removing and changing the rule and changing the outcome of the run. Uh, there are a lot of issues to cover in addition to the use of our ABI data profiling components to drive how these rules are configured. But my purpose here was to show you a quick and easy sample of how to clean that data and provide you a straightforward process to do that. One last effort here. If we were to go back into our component, and let's say we were to decide, you know, we'd like to validate first name, or we want to do some cleaning against that. Nothing to change here in our configuration properties. Uh, what you can see here is the rule that we're looking for. Now we've added first name here, and we're going to use a rule to remove and replace uh, special characters. So we'll drag that down here, validate, close that up, make a quick change here to our data viewer. Because as you well know, it's not going to pick that extra column up unless we add it in here. We'll bring over all the columns. As you can see, we've got first name, the clean value, the category, the rule, the valid switch, and the column name. And if we choose now to run our package, you'll see that our rule, as we skip to the end here, has picked up a first name here of David with a percent sign and an special character. We've actually removed the percent sign, but it looks like we've missed the special character. We've got our category, our rule name, whether or not it's valid. As you can see here, in this case, we've got one as an invalid, and the column name. Now, we obviously need to make a change to that rule. If we were to drop back to our table, and we were to take a look at the rule that we use, in this case, replace special characters, you'll see that in the regex rule, that particular special character is not there. If we add that into our rule, as you can see right here, update our table, go back to our process, and let's execute again. Uh, we will be able to take a look now at that first name field, and we can see that now we've removed both special characters again without having to modify the package. So, as I've said, please let us know. 
you like any information, please contact us at actualitybusiness.com. Uh, this is our website. Thank you very much.